Hello friends, welcome to Inside Second Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about one security alliance. Before we discuss further, first we will try to look at the video components. So the topic is regarding the Collective Security Treaty Organization. It is a security alliance initiated by mainly by Russia. And the security alliance is among the Eurasian countries. Countries which having presence in both Asia as well as Europe. Those countries are known as Eurasia. Now, if you look at here, first why it is in news. We will first try to understand the context. Then reasons behind this one. Regarding what? Regarding the why it is in news. It is in news because recently Armenia decided that they would like to stop all their activities with this particular organization CSTO. So, we will try to understand what are the reasons behind that move. Then the background, how this organization created and what are the objectives of this organization and how many member countries in this organizations. Apart from that, so we will discuss about what are the criticism this organization is facing. So, these are the details we are going to cover for the next remaining period of the video. So, first we will try to understand the context. Okay, The context is about one country. One country decided to you know like stop all its activity with CSTO. What is that country? You know that country is Armenia. Armenia froze, freezes all its I mean all activities with the collective security treaty organization CSTO. So first we have to check the Armenia. Where is Armenia? This is the Armenia nation and Armenia is having borders. First let us do the map pointing. If you see any country in news if it if the news is very somewhat significant then you have to check where that country is presented okay so armenia is having border with georgia on one side clockwise georgia then azerbaijan iran and turkey with these countries it is having borders armenia okay and uh, armenia decided that they would like to stop all their interaction with this security alliance that is the csto what could be the reason the reason is they are feeling that even though Russia is there in this group, Russia is unable, unable to come to the rescue when they were having dispute with the Azerbaijan. Okay? You know that both this uh, Azerbaijan and uh, Armenia, they were having dispute about one territory from very long periods. Tell me guys, what is the name of the territory? What is that land? Actually, physically, that land is present in Azerbaijan, but majority in that region, uh, the people belong to the Armenia region. Okay, so that is the reason it is remain contested between these two nations. Of course, recently Azerbaijan was successfully claimed that part. So Armenia felt that they couldn't get any help out of the, you know, like out of the uh, Russia and other countries by being the member in this particular group. And even they are having plans even to stop Russia's military base operations in Armenia as well. If that is going to be there, then that would be a big problem to Russia. Because now Russia is having, I mean, for the last one and a half year or almost a two years, Russia is completely, you know, like uh, involved in war with Ukraine. In this context, it is going to be somewhat minor setback anyhow. Let's see. Armenia decided. So, this step, what are the consequences of this step? This will weaken this Armenia ties with Russia. Because you know, the CSTO is an umbrella organization where Russia and some other European countries, they are sticking together. Now, stopping all its interaction with the CSTO, obviously, it will weak its ties with Russia. And once its, its dependence on Russia is reduced, then obviously, it will look for other alternative security measures. Then, NATO may say, NATO may say so I mean, they look at that as an opportunity and they may say that they will provide the security support as well. So, that might be a chance as well. So, Armenia is opening up their doors even for the NATO. Next, Armenia, Azerbaijan. So, recently, the Armenia and Azerbaijan, they decided and uh, they come for a peace talks that is known as the Munich Security Conference. After the, after the security conference, this decision announced by Armenia. So, this is also one of the very significant step. Okay? Because now, Armenia realized that there is no point of living in, I mean, this present in CSTO. So, reason, Armenia believing that CSTO couldn't help to solve this uh, dispute between the Azerbaijan and Armenia, like I said earlier, and Armenia is not satisfied with excessively depending on, on Russia for their security things. And third one, they would like to, exp, uh, you know, like they would like to, you know, like, uh, they would like to explore 
the other security partnership with other countries like I said NATO can be a preferable choice as well and leaving the CSTO it is a significant ties of closing Russia not only in terms of military and in terms of even economic ties as well backgrounds both Azerbaijan and uh, Armenia they fought for a region known as Nagorno Karabakh region it is highly disputed region between these two nations this uh, territory physically present in Azerbaijan but majority of these people belong to the Armenian origin now the Azerbaijan they completely they finally they got a complete control over this territory in 2020 from there onwards this instability was keep on going on next about this organization now here we'll try to understand when this organization was established what are the main objectives of this organization and what are the founding member countries and which countries joined later in this particular organization remember once again this organization contains countries which are present across the eurasia that means they spread across Euro, Euro, i mean this europe as well as the asia the year established 1992 the treaty was signed and 2002 organization formally established founding member countries armenia russia kazakhstan kyrgyzstan tajikistan uzbekistan here you are seeing all stans except you know like turkmenistan and turkmenistan is very popular for natural gas as well so armenia is a founding member as a founding member their announcement of cutting ties with this organization is going to be a significant blow to this organization that we can say that current members that means new members added belarus initially how many members three three six belarus added seven and uh, you know like uh, of course in middle they even the georgia and azerbaijan also they were added you know here azerbaijan is not there now the armenia is also stopped of being membership i mean they, they frozen the ties headquarters present in moscow it is an intergovernmental military alliance exclusively for the eurasian countries so similar kind of military alliances are nato is also one of the military alliance okay that is for the countries which are spread across the north atlantic ocean both europe as well as the north america in 2004 unwo unwo accepted this organization to be as an observer observer so status so they given this organization given observer status in unwo next 1992 so like like we discussed 1992 established and treaty signed in 2002 1992 it established with six countries like we discussed then three more countries were added in 1994 azerbaijan belarus georgia then again this uh, georgia and uh, uzbekistan and some other countries they did not sign further extension of this treaty and at the moment these are the member countries so three stars are there kazakhstan kyrgyzstan tajikistan that means uzbekistan gone and uh, as armenia belarus belarus is there so initially it started with six now also six but uzbekistan is not there now and belarus is there tell me guys whether the uzbekistan is there or not in the seo shanghai cooperation organization whether uzbekistan is having the membership in the seo or not next what are the goals of this organization to strengthen or consolidating the peace regional security and stability in the region and protecting the independency of these countries pres ac present across the eurasia and promoting the collective response to external threats okay so if any member country is having external th threats then collectively they will respond same like you know you remember the fifth clause of nato in nato article 5 deals with the collective you know like uh, collective response if one member country nato is under attack entire nato as a group will respond same like here also next key features it is an intergovernmental military alliance and joint military exercises can be possible and peacekeeping deployment for the peacekeeping deployment also they can be used and already the CSTO organization, this military alliance, they are having, they are conducting the peacekeeping operations in certain countries as well, certain Eurasian countries as well, we will see. And cooperation in security matters, including the intelligence sharing and border security. Let us see. These are the peacekeeping operations performing by this military alliance. In countries such as Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan, CSTO peacekeeping operations in Tajikistan it is operating since 2001 to stabilize the Tajikistan country after the civil war and this mission now at the moment consisting of around approximately 1700 military personnel in Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan CSTO deployed in Kyrgyzstan 2010 after the 
and rest in the country then the mission was withdrawn after a few months after the stability stability is achieved so this kind of local level alliances are very essential they can keep the regional stability and that regional instability cannot be you know like cannot have that kind of uh, spilling over effect on the across the other nations or globally so this kind of local level military alliances play very important role no doubt in that un mandate csto also can deploy the peacekeeping missions under the mandate of un security council like you know so how india is contributing its forces criticism so of course it is uh, not devoid of criticisms there are certain criticisms on this csto as well first one is limited effectiveness that is what even armenia is also complaining about then russia inf is influencing may very much obviously russia will act as a big brother there is no doubt in that because all these member countries are as well ussr soviet union mem member countries internal internal you know like difference of opinion among the countries next yesterday's video question the singbom crater craton is located between it is located between the chota nagpur plateau and the eastern ghats next one consider the following how many of the above countries are members of the nordic baltic cooperation nordic baltic cooperation except croatia all these three countries are the nordic baltic cooperation members samakka saralama jatara okay it is conducted in telangana state now let's see today's video question today's video question which of the following countries is not a current member of the collective security treaty organization which country is not a member of csto pick the right one main question russia ukraine war is not only causing harm to the economies of these two countries but it is having wider implication for the present world order as well that means this question is about what is the impact of the russia ukraine war discuss as we reach to the end of this video in this particular video we mainly discussed about armenia decision in relevant to csto and how the csto established what are the member countries in csto founding member countries as well as the present member countries what are the aims and objectives of the csto and criticism facing by the csto as well so this is the detailed analysis regarding the armenia's recent decision regarding the csto i hope this video is useful to you thanks for watching our channel have a great day jai hind